Hello everyone, AZ Flyer here. And this video, we're gonna have a lot of fun. We're going to look into setting up flapperons and tailorons. So sometimes you have an airplane that's like this, that just has full span ailerons and no flaps. So, you know, you wanna have the ability to put in flaps, but then still have aileron control. Those are called flapperons. We're gonna look into how to do that. But what happens sometimes is when you deflect all the way, um, so you have aileron control here, but if you deflect all the way, you'll notice that your aileron control gets pretty weak. So we put in what's called tailorons, which help you in your roll with your flaps all the way down. If you didn't have those tailorons moving in the back there with the elevators, you don't have enough roll authority to do the kind of control you want when you're slow and in your landing pattern. So putting in tailorons with flapperons uh, is really critical. So we're gonna go over that in this video. All right, here we go. Okay, so we're gonna be going over how to set up an airplane and the various channels that are required to do flapperons and tailorons. Uh, it's also important to understand that we're going to be using flight modes in this setup as well. So if you want a detailed understanding of how to set up flight modes, uh, that is available in another video. So I recommend you go check that out. We will be touching on it here, but not in depth. But it is important you understand flight modes in order to make these different uh, functions work. Okay, so we're going to set up a new airplane by going to our model select tile, scrolling down to the plus sign to create a new airplane. Just create it as a regular airplane. Uh, engine channels, of course, are always whatever you've got for engine channel. That doesn't change. Uh, but here we want to make sure that we've got ailerons on two channels. So you'll need to have a wire coming from each aileron into a separate channel of your receiver. So you can't do a Y harness for your ailerons in one channel. You have to have them separated. On uh, the example of the airplane that I have here, it's an E-Flight 80 millimeter F-16. It had a Y harness coming back. Uh, so I had to get in there rewire those wires to so each servo has a separate wire coming into a channel on the aileron so that's very important set your flaps at no flaps for now we're going to set up flaps later uh in and in in it's you know in the mix so leave that at no flaps for now your tail is going to be a traditional tail but you're going to have elevator on two channels and the same thing you're going to need to have uh, each elevator servo coming into it into its own separate channel on the receiver. Again, with that aircraft, uh, they were wire harnessed, so we had to do some rewiring inside the airplane uh, to get you know, each one its own wire coming up into the receiver. And then your rudder is going to stay on one channel. So two channels for ailerons, none for flaps, two channels for elevator. We're going to call this uh, flapperon. So just going to set this up as a special airplane for flapperon. And uh, not going to do a picture right now, but of course you can always add a picture. So here we've got our flapperon uh, aircraft built. And so if we go to the mixer, we're going to see here that we've got ailerons showing on channels one and five, elevators two and six, throttle three, rudder four. Uh, that is fine. So what you're going to see here is that your, if we go into our ailerons mix, you're going to see we've got our our two channels here going to one and five. So that's where we're gonna plug in our, our ailerons into our receiver into channels one and five, and that's all good. Now, um, you can always set up a, a curve. Um, we're gonna put some, a little bit of expo in here just to make sure we've got it. Let's, let's probably put about, probably put about, woo, about 30% expo. I, I always use liberal amounts of expo, it's just the way I fly. Uh, and of course our weight. So um, right now, um, everything's set at 100%. Um, so you can add different weights there for your different rates. Um, let's just leave this alone for now so we can see how the airplane, uh, make sure everything's working fine. But when we actually build an airplane to fly, we'll want to put different weights there for a low, medium, and high rate. And right, we're going to do the same thing with our elevator. We're going to come over to our elevator here. We're going to throw a little bit of expo uh, in our elevator. We'll throw about 30% expo in there for the elevator as well. And the same thing, we've got our, so we've got our elevator working here and we've got our aileron working there. So it looks like our mixes are working good. Okay, so now it's time to set up our flaps mix. So we're gonna do that by out at the mixer menu. We're gonna hit the plus sign. There's already a flaps option here. We're gonna select that, put that in the last position. Uh, always on is our active condition. Again, unless some reason that you don't want the flaps activating you know, without the use of a switch, we're gonna leave that on. Input, we're gonna select our flap switch. That's our switch right here. So we're gonna make sure it works. And we can see the cursor moving here. So we know our flaps is working 
Well, now something that's very important is we wanna make sure our channel count here shows two because we're gonna tie this into the same two channels that our ailerons are on. So we're gonna select output one and we're gonna change that to be the aileron channel one. And so it says here, do you wanna swap channel seven and channel one settings? Yes. Uh, do we wanna clear it? So now we're gonna say no to that, okay? And then do the same thing down here. We're gonna change this to be channel five. Change this name, no. So there we've got, now we've got it tied to channels one and five, just like our ailerons are. So if we go out to our menu here, we'll see we've got ailerons on one and five, flaps are on one and five, elevators are on two and six. All right, well, we've bound up to our receiver and put in our airplane, so it's time to check and see if our flapperons are working. So we'll move the aileron and whoops, we've got flaps moving. So something's not right. Um, the elevators are working, rudder's working, but the flaps aren't. If you'll see if I move my flap switch, I'm getting a movement on my uh, ailerons. So something needs to be inverted. So if we go into our output screen, tap on your outputs, and one of the aileron channels needs to be inverted for this to be fixed. So let's go ahead and try the first one here, see if this works. Go ahead and tap on the invert, and now I'll check the ailerons. Well, now ailerons are working. They're moving backwards, but they're working. And if I drop flaps, they're going backwards as well. So I need to reverse my curve on my flaps to make sure it's going down instead of up. And then also um, change my uh, ailerons as well to reverse them to make sure they're going the right direction. Now, the easiest way to reverse those ailerons is to go to our mixer channel and select your aileron mix, edit it, and we're gonna take that 100% weight and turn it to negative 100. So right now we're rolling opposite. If I roll left, I'm getting right aileron. So to change that, I'm gonna take that 100% and dial it down to negative 100%. And you see my, my uh, curves are reversing on my graph. So if I take that down to negative 100%, now when I roll left, I get left aileron. When I roll right, I get right aileron. That's working. Now we need to fix our flaps. Our flaps are going up. So we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna to go to the flaps mix and we're gonna take that weight and we're gonna reverse it. If it's positive, we're gonna make it negative. But what you're gonna notice here is on this particular mix, we've got two weights, one for each output. So we're gonna to need to turn both of them to negative 30. So you'll see right now I'm going up. So if I take this one and dial it down to negative 30, you'll see that moving on the graph. And if I just did the one, then you would see only one's moving. So the other one needs to be changed as well. So we're gonna turn this one down to negative 30 also, just for testing purposes here. Now when I hit my flap switch, both flaps drop evenly. So I'm gonna turn that up to, to uh, illustrate our point. If you've got a lot of flaps, say let's go to like 50, 60%. So you've got a lot of flap here. And if I give full flaps, you'll see now when I when I move my ailerons, I don't get a lot of throw on that one that's fully deployed on the right. Um, same thing if I want to go roll right, my one on the left doesn't get a lot. So that's why I want to put in tailorons to help me with that roll. So let's go ahead and work on the tailoron issue now. So to create our tailorons, we're going to need to set up another mix. So go back to the mixer screen to the mixer menu, hit the plus sign. There's already an ailerons mix here. We're gonna set up an ailerons mix. Put that in the last position. And we're gonna throw a little bit of expo in here. Again, we're gonna throw 30 in there just to match our, our wing ailerons to make sure that you know their, their expo is the same for both. And then down here, we're gonna make sure we're in our two channel setup. And we're gonna change our outputs to the same channel as the elevators are on, which is two and six. So we're gonna turn this one down to channel two we're gonna swap, yes, say no to that. Output two is gonna be ailerons again. We're gonna put that on channel six. And now we've got ailerons here on this channel going to two and six. But if we go back out, we'll see the elevators are still on two and six as well. Ailerons are on two and six too. So let's go check it and make sure it's working okay on the airplane. Okay, we're back at the airplane, so let's check and see if our tailorons are working. As I roll my airplane, oh, my tailorons are working, but I think they're rolling opposite. 
because you'll see here as I roll as I roll left, I'm getting uh, the opposite aileron effect here or tailoron effect that I want to get with my aileron. So I need to reverse my aileron mix here on my tail to match what I want in the front. So this is very important that you make sure you get this set up right. So we're going to go into our aileron mix that we created. Let's try the channels two and six. And we're just going to turn that weight down to negative 100. It was set at a positive 100. Let's just turn that down to negative 100 and we'll see our, our throws reverse. And now when I roll left, I'm getting left on both. It's deflecting up here and it's deflecting up here. So both are going to turn this side of the airplane down together. And the same thing on the other side. When I roll right, I'm getting pushing this wing down and pushing this tail down as well. So my tail only seems to be working. Again, set that up the way you know, make sure you check that very carefully before you ever fly to make sure it's doing what you want it to do. So we want to make sure that as not only do I have full elevator control, but I also have the ability to roll back here in my tail. Um, now, a piece of advice that I have um, that I've learned through flying is I, I got to sit at 100 for setup here for test for demo, but I would turn the, the weight way down on that tail. You're going to find this being in here is going to really snap really. So um, I would turn that down a little bit to make sure you didn't have uh, too much air on throw back there. Uh, but you'll see now as I drop my flaps, I've got my tail working. So I'm getting a lot more control now than I was before and flaps up it's, it's uh rolling with me uh, normal now we're going to share one more thing that i think is important when you're talking about tailorons and flaperons working together i found that i don't really want the tailorons working all the time when my flaps are up i may or may not want those tailorons working i really don't want them i get plenty of roll control with the ailerons so i want to have the tailorons off when my flaps are all the way up. Only work at takeoff and landing flap settings. So we're gonna set that up by uh, setting up a couple flight modes. Let's start first by setting up a flight mode for takeoff flaps, we'll call it half flaps. So we'll go ahead and we'll go to the flight modes menu. You'll see we, don't, we only have our default flight mode here now. So we're gonna create a flight mode and we're gonna call this half flap. This will be my takeoff flap setting. My active condition is gonna be my flap switch in the takeoff position, which to me is right in the middle. So I've, I've got all the way up for normal flight in the middle for takeoff flaps. So I've got it set for, for takeoff flap position. So now my, that's gonna activate this flight mode. So no fade in or out yet. We won't worry about that yet, but we've got this half flap mode set up. So it's set for the, that flap dash. It's the middle flap section. So now we're gonna go back to our mix. We're gonna find that aileron mix right here. I'm gonna go ahead and clone it because I'm gonna have one for full down as well. So let's go ahead and clone that. So we've got two of them here. On this first one, I'm gonna edit it and I'm gonna make the active condition that that switch. So now I know that when I go to that, when I'm in that middle position, it'll activate this aileron setting. If I come off it, you see I have no control now. This aileron, tailoron control will not be active if that, if my switch is not in my takeoff flat positioning. See if I go full down, it turns off as well. So that's working. So now we're gonna go over to the other um, aileron mix and we're going to put that active condition on full flaps all the way forward so now i see if my flaps are all the way forward or all the way down i've got aileron control if it's not all the way down i won't have aileron control so we're going to go back to this flight mode again and we're going to set up another flight mode we're going to call this full flaps and the reason you're going to want these two flight modes is when you're doing flapperons and tailorons and such you're probably going to run into some trim need you're, you're not gonna you're probably not gonna be happy with the same trim at, at flaps you tracked at no tailorons so it's good to have these other flight modes already ready to go the after condition on this is going to be flaps up so i've got my flight mode and my aileron control changed uh according to whether my flaps are up or down so you can see now i have a i have flight modes for takeoff flaps flaps all the way forward and let's make one more flight mode for normal flight. We'll call this flaps up. 
Active condition on this is gonna be flaps retracted. So now you see I've got the three flight modes, flaps retracted, half flaps, full flaps, and I've got my mixes over here set to go when my, if my flaps are all the way up, I've got no tailor ons. You'll see my, my two extra aileron, tailor on mixes are off, but if I go to mid flaps, that one activates, and I have to go to full flaps, that one activates. So now I can set my rates and my expo and everything up separately on these different aileron mixes, these separate tailor on mixes, depending upon uh, how I want the flight conditions to be. Okay, so let's see how we're doing. So see, I've got my ailerons working, but I've got no tailor-ons. But if I drop my flaps to take off, now my tailor-ons kick in. If I go to full flaps, my tailor-ons are working also. So I wanna do that because you'll see when my flaps are fully deployed and I wanna roll right, I'm not getting any deflection here on this aileron. My, fl my, my flap is down so far. So that's why I want these tailor-ons. But when I'm fully retracted, I've got plenty of aileron control. I may not want those tailor-ons. So by doing it this way, it ties your tailor-ons to your flap control. And of course, you can go through and set your curve and your weight and expo up to however you want to fly it. But this way, I, when I need that extra roll control for my tailor-ons, I have it when my flaps are deployed. So just as a reminder, you'll probably want to have these flight modes set up ahead of time so that you can access the trims and uh, according to how you change your flying condition there when you deploy your flaps and have your tailor-ons going. So it's important to have those flight modes set up and tied to the, to the flap switch if that's indeed what you want to have your tailor-ons activated by. So then when you go into those different mixes, you'll tie that, that tailor-on mix to that same flap switch. So that way, if you don't want the tailor-ons running when your flaps are completely uh, retracted, then it won't happen. So you'll see it's off now as long as my flap switch. But when I flip my flap switch, then it activates those extra mixes. And of course, my main aileron mix operates all the time. So I hope that's helpful for you. Um, if you have any questions, throw them in the chat. Uh, like this if it, you found it helpful, and we appreciate you watching. Fly safe, and we'll see you next time. Thanks.